Hi guys, Nagraj here. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new for this channel, please do subscribe. Hi guys, today we will discuss about another Java basic program that is given number is prime or not you need to identify. There are two ways they may ask in the interview. The first scenario is like the write a program to display the given number in the prime or not. So in this case example if I take the first example if the given input is 7 the output will be prime number. Okay, so if the given number is 12 the output will be not prime number. This is the first scenario. So before I get into this program right, we should understand like what is prime number. The prime number is the one the number is divided by one or the same number itself right? that number is called as a prime number okay so another scenario we need to check like uh, the input if they, the range they will provide suppose if they provide the range is 20 between uh, 0 to uh, the given range in this case 20 so how many prime numbers are available that should be displayed this is the second scenario so we'll see one by one in this video the two scenario we'll discuss in this uh, video okay let me open eclipse okay, here i have written some piece of code so that uh, it will be easy for you and it will for uh, for better understanding let me explain each steps okay before uh, getting into this program right you should understand what is prime number okay so prime number is the one as i said like it is divided by one or uh, the same number itself otherwise it should not be divided by any other number remember zero and one is not a prime number okay so always start with you. this logic is required to uh, write a program okay assume like you are uh, you take on the input as 5 now you check uh, 5 mod first you try with the whether uh, the mod of 2 okay then you try with 5 mod of 3 then you check for 5 mod of 4 if in this combination any one of the if it is equal to the 0 that number will be considered as a not a prime number okay for example if you consider uh, if, if you consider 5 there is no remainder available in this right so we can consider that it's a prime number if you take uh, uh, another number 6 in this example the first case it, uh, first case itself we got uh, the model equal to 0 in that case we can consider this is a not a prime number similarly it goes like that only so in this case to identify the given number now we can apply the similar logic into this program first we what we should do we should take the take the input from keyword first take that uh, input from the keyword so that for that I have used the scanner class here okay so create object for scanner class we need to pass a parameter system dot in because we need to take the data from the keyboard okay then uh, you just ask for the uh, in console you are asking something enter the value so the same thing will be displayed here because the same value once you enter in the console in the keyboard so that value will be saved into the integer value okay this is the first step like uh, we need to take the input from the given number we can take from the input okay then we here actually validation we need to take on for loop i is equal to 2 as why i have taken the i is equal to 2 because the prime number starts with the 2 only okay so i have taken the 2 here because i'll no need to validate the number by the one or the last number because the one number last number this is the number which is divided by one or the same number itself it is by default i'll make it uh, the given number is prime okay so if it is not a prime number then only these uh, validations will be uh, set the prime flag equal to false okay first i will take uh, i is equal to 2 then value is less than uh, value i is less than value i plus plus here the exactly validations the first i will take 5 in this if i take the uh, input validation is 5 now here making i mod of 2 first because value mod of 2 if it is 0 only it will get inside the loop and it will make the value as a false okay so similarly it will go till uh, the end of the loop so if any uh, zero occurs then only it will set this flag as a false then it will provide as the output once you uh, once you do this operation if you didn't find any zero then only uh, it doesn't modify the prime flag won't modify with the false it will return the same true only in that case if the prime flag because if it is true if the if condition is true then only get inside this loop it will uh, display the given number is prime otherwise it will give a number is not prime suppose assume like let me run this program once i'll give the input value as 5 so it will display me as a prime uh, it's a prime number now if i give something like 12 or something it is not a prime number because it is divided not only by 1 and 12 itself because some other uh, digit also we can able to divide successfully so uh, it is not a prime number so let me give one more example like uh, 
then see it is not a prime number so hope you understand uh, how we can uh, calculate the given number is prime or not why i am given the break here because if once the flag is set into false then no need to check for other loop because once it is considered as a not prime we can directly come out of the loop and we can uh, display this uh, the given input is a not a prime okay this is the simple concept just i have taken the input from the keyboard then i have validated only simple logic is that if you we should keep on do the modular operation with the given data if it is zero right so then we can consider that number is a not prime okay simple logic so now we have discussed about the first step right so first scenario if the given number is prime or not if we give seven it should display as a uh, prime number if it is if we give 12 it should display as a not prime that is done the first part is done now we'll see how we can check if the input as a 20 then it should display me like from 0 to 20 how many prime numbers are there that should be displayed that's we'll we'll see by just modifying few things only we can do this anyhow we know that the logic we have already we have written here written here because it is not like only to divide by a uh, value okay less than or equal to value we can also take divide by less than or equal to divide by 2 also that also will work fine because uh, no because it will avoid the unnecessary uh, no uh, looping statement so in that case also it will work fine if i run this or if i make uh, 11 it should display as a prime number if i uh, enter some other than 11 suppose if i, I will make 15 that also is not a prime number something it will display okay it is not because to avoid some unnecessary loop we can do divide by 2 also okay so we'll come back to the second step now so how we can do the if we, by giving the range of that how we can display those uh, prime numbers now now I will go, to go back to the Eclipse. So here I will display some for loop for int j equal to 0, j less than or equal to. Let me start with the 2 only here because always the prime number will start with the 2 because I don't want 0 and 1. This is the one more uh, value I have taken. So in this step I need to copy all these inside this loop. Copy all this inside, but now previously we have taken the number from the keyword. Now I need to take data from the for loop. So, first, what I should do here a j equal to 0 that is fine. Instead of well, I need to take j because the given input is j now j mod of i. I need to take this one. That is a simple logic. So, once this uh, for loop is done, before that only uh, let me display the whether the given number is prime or not. Let me paste it here. So here, if the prime is equal to true, then only data I need to display. What data? The here the value will be the j because outer uh, loop I have taken the j, right? So here I need to okay. Let me uh, paste this one somewhere outside the for loop so that uh, only one time uh, the value will be displayed here. Prime numbers are here. So let me because I want to display only one time the text because just i want to display this j here okay what i did right just i have taken on uh, outside for loop inside the logic both are same uh, previously also same logic i have implemented so if i run this program let me see how whether it works or not okay let me run this program so if i enter 20 oh there is some mistake here so where is the mistake it is yeah so here j is equal to this is fine but here we should take till j minus 2 correct because we are inside the loop so we need to take j minus 2 now uh, run it again if i enter 20 see the between that uh, 22 2 to 20 how many prime numbers are that will be displayed here. if i run again i will give something uh, 6 in that case so till 6 how many prime numbers are that will be displayed here if i write if i enter 100 so 0 to 100 how many uh, prime numbers are available that will be displayed here. Uh, finally thanks guys thanks for watching this video if you like this video please hit like button and uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel for further video and also please share with your friends those who are looking for the java concept or they are learning uh, the java thank you